have a reason. We have a reason to celebrate in the name of Jesus. Amen. We celebrate the grace of God, the love of God. We celebrate the presence of God. And we are here to tell God, thank you. Can you take a moment and tell God, thank you, Lord, for giving me the opportunity to be in your presence. I don't take it for granted. I know you have hearkened to my cry, to my prayer, oh God. In the name of Jesus, where I fell short of your glory, where I fell short of what I was supposed to do, oh God, because of your great mercy and love, remember me. Remember me, Lord. Remember mercy, oh God. In the name of Jesus, remember me, oh God. Remember us, oh God. Hallelujah. Father, I dedicate this service to you as we come to the end of our 21 days of prayer and fasting. We say thank you for giving us the opportunity to be in your presence. And our Lord, as the Bible says, better the end of a matter than the beginning. Make this service to be glorious. Come and do that which only you can do. Have your will, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Thank you. God bless you. We can take our seats. Bwana sifuwe sana. Ningependa kuchukua nafasi kwa karibisha katika ibada yetu ya siku ya leo. Uh, wale ambao wako kwa Overflow Faith Chapel. Watu wa Faith Chapel, hallelujah. Victor's Chapel, Bwana Sifiwe. Mungu wabariki. Heaven's Gate, Bwana Sifiwe. Wale wengi wako nyumbani na sehemu tofauti na mataifa tofauti. Bwana Sifiwe. Amen. Tuwapigie makofi wote. God bless you. Tungependa kuendelea na ibada hii ambayo katika ibada hii we are going to partake of the Lord's table na kwa sababu najua watu wale wengi wanaofuata hii ibada ni wale hawako hapa kanisani na hawako in the overflow na hawako heaven's gate I would like you wherever you are you are also going to prepare some elements to partake you can do some juice and some bread um, or any other drink just prepare by faith and uh, at the end of this service we are going to partake together the Lord's table we are going to share the Lord's table together and I believe the same presence the same visitation that is going to be here it is going to be everywhere people are going to receive and partake this table by faith Bwana sifuwe sana. Ningependa ni wakaribishe kwenye ibada hii. Najua tuko na wageni wengi. Uh, ambao wame tutembelea from the church without walls. Nione mkono church without walls. Wale wame kuja hapa, ndani, overflow. Mungu wabariki. Asanteni kwa kuja katika ibada. Mungu wabariki. We thank God that he has given us the grace even to be together with you when you have been watching us from the comfort maybe of your house or even those who have been gathering in different places. Tukona wageni kadha, tukona waku wa jeshi letu la KDF ambao wame tutembelea, wame okoka, wame kuwa pare Heaven's Gate, sitaweza kuataja majina, lakini wanaeza simama tuwa tupungie mkono. Sijui amekaa wapi. Mungu awabariki sana na karibuni sana. Uh, tuko na missionaries 16 ambao they serve across Africa. Sijui wamekaa wapi. Um, asante. Mungu awabariki sana. Karibuni kwenye ibada yetu. Uh, tukona lafiki yangu wapa Reverend Monio All the way from US Karibu sana 
na najua pia tukosi wachungaji wengine tafadhali wachungaji wale wako kwa ibada wamekuja kushiriki pamoja nasi nione mikono yenu pastors bishops simameni tu tafadhali we celebrate you we love you asanteni karibuni sana karibuni sana thank you very much ningependa kuwakaribisha nyinyi wote uh, katika uwepo wa Mungu siku ya leo ningependa kuwapa neno litakalo tuelekeza kushiriki katika neno, uh, meza ya Bwana and I'll be sharing on uh, divine strengthening of your inner man divine strengthening of your inner man kutiwa nguvu katika mtu wako wa ndani tunataka tuangalie hilo neno na vile Mungu anaweza kutusaidia siku ya leo kwa sababu tumekuwa na wakati wa kuombea mwaka wa 2022 na tunamaliza maombi yetu siku ya leo na tunapomaliza haya maombi ni vizuri Mungu atutie nguvu that we are going to finish strong this year the reason we took time to pray in the beginning of the year is so that God may give us that strength ambayo itatusaidia kushinda ningependa kusema ya kwamba when we are talking about the inner man um, it is the unseen you it is the person of the heart praise the name of the living god it is the composition of your spirit man bwana pewe sifa so your inner man is a little you the body is only a tent that carries the inner man or ho or hosts the inner man where you live na kwa hivyo huyo mtu wa ndani kuna vile anapaswa kutiwa nguvu kwa sababu hakuna every true believer Dio aweze kushinda majaribu. Dio aweze kushinda vita vya hatima yake. Hawezi kufanya hivyo kama ndani yake hana nguvu. Bwana apewe sifa. Siju kama umeshai kuongea I have you know in pastoral ministry unaongea na mtu maybe it's a man ukimwangalia very strong well built physically lakini akianza kuongea juu ya maisha yake ana break anaanza kulia kama mtoto kwa sababu gani kwa sababu it's not about the outside mtu anaweza kufika kule ndani anasikia hii vita imekuwa kali sana ninasikia i'm in the verge of giving up Ninasikia ni kama sitaweza kuendelea tena. Na any, anyone can come to that point. The Bible says in the book of Isaiah chapter 40 from verse 18 that any one of us can get weary, you can be worn out by the challenges of life. The Bible says that 28 4028 Isaiah chapter 40 and verse 28 Do you not know have you not heard the Lord is the everlasting God the creator of the ends of the earth he will not grow tired or weary and his understanding no one can fathom he gives strength to the weary and increases the power of the weak even youths grow tired and weary and young men stumble and fall but those who hope in the lord will renew their strength they will soar on wings like eagles they will run and not grow weary they will walk and not faint one of the reasons we wait upon the lord is for him to renew our strength 
Any one of us can get weary. But when we wait upon the Lord, the reason we have been taking time in the beginning of the year to wait upon the Lord is so that the Lord may renew our strength so that we may continue to soar with wings uh, like an eagle. Praise the name of the living God. That soaring does not happen always. Uh, if you are battered by life and circumstances of life, you can become tired and weary. Now, you are not able to continue. Psalms 24 and verse 10 in a sema, if you falter uh, in the day of adversary, uh, who is a king? Pro uh, Proverbs 24.10 If you falter in the day of adversary, in, the, in, the, in times of trouble, Proverbs 24.10, if you falter in times of trouble, how small is your strength? Can you give us the same in New King James Version? In a summer, if you faint in the day of adversity, your strength is small. There is a day called the day of adversity. And the Bible says, if you falter, it is because you are lacking strength. break. <laughs> Kuna mtu mwingine anaweza kuja na apitie hiyo hali nikana kwamba hakuna kitu ni kama magari tu unaweza kuta mahali gari ya four wheel inapita lakini ukikuja pale na pro box na filter zinakwama kwa sababu hakana nguvu lakini gari lingine so wanadamu wako hivyo kuna mwanadamu mmoja ile mambo inafanya alie mwingine anapita hapo akicheka nikana kwamba hakuna kitu anapitia Lakini mwingine akipita hapo anakwama inategemea nguvu za ndani. Nguvu za ndani ni za muhimu sana. That is why Paul said in the book of Philippians 4:13, I can do all things through Christ who gives me strength. I can do everything through him who gives me strength. For you to be able to do everything in life you need strength from above. Praise the name of the living God. It takes strength to build a marriage. It takes strength to build a ministry. It takes strength. Praise the name of the living God. Even to grow in your career. It takes strength to build a marriage. And parenting is not also for the weak. It takes strength to do parenting. Kuna wazazi wengine wamevunjika moyo. Bwana asifiwe sana. Inagalimu nguvu kujenga ndoa na unaweza kufika mahali unasikia nguvu zimekwisha. Hmm? Na unajua unajua hata changamoto zingine tunakuanga nazo katika doa. Ukiangalia watu wale wamepita miaka uh, 40 50 na huko katika ndoa, ndoa zao hazikuangi na changamoto nyingi. Sio kwa sababu hawakuangi na shida ni kwa sababu kuna mahali unafikanga unapigana mpaka unaona wacha niende saving mode unajua hata simu yako ikikaribia kuisha moto huwa inakuuliza kama tuende saving mode kwa sababu tukiendelea hivyo hivyo if you continue to operate all the apps hii simu itazima sasa inakuuliza do you want us to go into saving mode uachane na apps zingine Sasa wengine wetu kuna apps umewachana nazo. My wife akiniletea chakula, nisikie ni balidi na beba polepole pole naenda kwa microwave. <laughs> ha? Zamani ikiwa baridi nilikuwa namuita tafadhali kuja. Ananisema ati ni maziwa iko kwa gas. Zima kwanza. Namwambia kuja, hebu oje hii chakula. Anaonja ananiza kwani iko na nini? Namwambia hausikini baridi. Praise ananiambia pole anaenda jikoni lakini sasa hiyo kupigania makerele tumeenda saving mode <laughs> tunataka ku conserve energy ile imebaki ufanye mambo ya muhimu katika maisha nayo so do you know ndoa za watu young because wako naenda nyingi 
mpaka kama nguo iko na kamkujo ingine hapa na ilipigwa pasi unasikia amepiga kelele sasa umeniwekea raini zingine za kando kini wengine wetu watuulizi unauliza eh hafadhi kwa wapi pasi naitoa tu pole pole hapo bwana pe sifa because you want to conserve the little energy you have and do the most important things in life praise the name of the living god kama uko karibu na kijana mwambie kuna siku utaenda saving mode endelea tu kupiga kelele jina la bwana lipewe sifa haleluya so kuna mahali unaanga mambo imetulia mzee akikuta jembe nje panga haikuchukuliwa wakati alikuwa kijana Oyo ni faga weja ini panga iko nje na piga kelele watu lakini kuna mali unafika unaichukua tu pole pole unaenda unaiweka na unakaa hapo chini unangojea ugali bila maneno mengi Bwana asifuwe sana Haleluya kwa sababu nataka kukonserve ile energy kidogo uko naye ufanye naye mambo ya muhimu katika maisha wakati nilianza huduma hapa because i was in my early thirties ukiuliza wale wakas tulikuwa na wao because walikuwa few less than ten. nilikuwa nakaa na wao na wanyorosha praise the name of the living god na wanyorosha so watu wale tulifanya nao kazi mwanzo mwanzo sio kama wale wamekuja juzi juzi wale wamekuja juzi juzi na waangalia anga tu hata wakifanya makosa naenda saving mode <laughs> because mambo yamekuwa mengi ninangojewa ni hubili praise the name of the living god jamii ndio hiyo haleluya sasa unaenda saving mode. Sometimes naendanga kwa mzee Deli tunamwambia si unisaidie ushughulikie mtu fulani kwa sababu ha? sina hiyo energy. Na kwa hivyo sasa because sasa ukiwa na watu mbili ukianza kunyorosha huyu unyoroshe huyu wiki hii unamaliza miaka ine kitabu uwazuguke. Nywele zote zinakuwa nyeupe kitabu umalizane na wao. So watu wale tunafanya kazi na wao ukiambiwa uki apostle wa zamani alikuwa anapiga kelele sio timu mmekuwa wazuri ni saving mode ni saving mode praise the name of the living god hata department zamani tulikuwa tunakaa chini tunanyoroshana kila department nakuwa na siku ya kuonana na wao lakini siku hizi nawaangalia tuna macho naambia wachungaji muangalie department vizuri because niko katika saving mode ile energy niko naye Wacha niendelee kupayonia hii maono ndio ifike mahali ambapo Mungu amekusudia. Praise the name of the living God. Na hayo ndiyo maisha. Hata we kuna wakati unapaswa kuangalia mambo mengine na uone hayastahili kupoteza nguvu zako. Praise the name of the living God. Because ukipoteza nguvu zako na mambo ambayo hayana maana, utakosa nguvu za kufanya mambo yaliyo na maana katika maisha yako jina la bwana lipewe sifa na kwa hivyo katika maisha hata watu wale wazazi wale hapa wako na watoto kama tano, sita, waine. ukiuliza firstborn na lastborn wako na different experiences ya wazazi because firstborn alikuta wazazi wakati wako na nguvu atakwambia hata hii arama ya kuchunwa hii arama ya kupigwa lastborn atakwambia baba na mama wanakuanga angels hata ukifanya makosa hawaulizangi mtu last boni mko na bahati mnapata wazazi wakati wameenda saving mode wanasema ile nguvu tumebakisha praise the name lakini ungewapata wakiwa vijana mnakibizana hata kama ni kwa mahindi kwa kahawa mnaruka hizo beji za majani mnaangushana mnaamuka mahali unashikwa unakurwa na meno lakini sasa meno imekosa guvu meno ile imebaki ni ya kula chakula ya kukula watu itangoka peke yake <laughs> sasa unapeleka meno saving mode unaiachia kazi ya muhimu katika maisha zamani ilikuwa ya kukula mpaka watoto praise the name of the living god hallelujah it is not easy 
Lebeka alisema ah, alikuwa anaongea juu ya Esau akasema Jacob akioa watoto wa, 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 wanawake wengine kama wa Wahef mimi nitakufa nitakufa ha? kuna watu unaweza kukaa na wao usikie ni kama watakumaliza nguvu kwa sababu hauna hizo nguvu nyingi za kutumia na mambo mengi na hivyo ndivyo maisha alivyo ya kwamba wakati mwingine hata mambo yale ni ya muhimu sana unaweza kusikia ni kana kwamba hauna nguvu ya kuifanya Bibi nasema in the book of Ephesians chapter 3 and verse 16. Na Paul alikuwa anaongea na watu hawa akijua mambo yale watapitia. Let's read in New King James version. Inasema that he would grant you according to the riches of his glory to be strengthened with might through his spirit in the inner man. Praise the name of the living God. Yaani Paul anawaambia ya kwamba Mungu awape according to the riches of his glory to be strengthened with might through his spirit in the inner man. Paul anaongea na watu ambao walikuwa wanajua kwamba watapitia persecution, wengine watauawa kwa sababu ya imani yao and for them to be able to stand even in the face of persecution and they continue confessing the name of the lord they must be strengthened kuna mahali unaweza kosa nguvu unamkana yesu kuna mahali mwili wako unaweza kosa nguvu yani mpaka unasema sasa ninafanya tu dhambi nikiona because hauna ile resistance ya kutosha ha? unakuta ya kwamba because you are in a man representa your emotional health your mental health praise the name of the living god the power of your will ya kwamba anaweza kusema hapana na iwe hapana bwana pe sifa yesu akamwambia nafundi the spirit is willing but the body is weak praise the name that will power ya kufanya kile ambacho unataka kufanya it is very very important siku ya leo i think because of the generation ambao we are brought up wale ambao tulipitia challenges challenges sometimes inatusaidia hata katika maisha David says in distress you enlarged me wakati mwingine unaweza pita mambo tu na kumbe Mungu ni moyo wako anapanua i remember when the ministry was young kuna wakati tuliingia katika madeni ikafika milioni mbili na hii milioni mbili sadaka ni elfu haifiki 30 so nikaanza kuona unajua ukipigiwa simu na mtu mmoja hii hadi wewe amepiga simu hawa wengine wamepiga simu kazi inasimama haujui ufanye nini kuna wakati nilikuwa naamka usiku nafanya fanya kichwa hivi my wife anaamka ananiangalia anaona huyu mzee ni kama ataenda bwana pe sifa lakini siku ya leo kimuuliza ananiambianga na we hinya you are strong nikiona ile mambo yote umebeba na haustuki na unaendelea ananiambia you are strong kumbe ile strength niliitoa wakati wa distress wakati nilikuwa naamka nafanya fanya kichwa hivi na niko kwa usingizi lakini mambo yamekuwa mazito wapendwa it takes strength to build a business sio rahisi kulipa roni ya milioni moja. unapitisha na wiki tatu banki inapiga simu saa hiyo haujui pesa itatoka wapi ha hiyo strength ya kujenga biashara na uko na madeni na uko na wafanyikazi wanakusumbua na wengine wanakuibia na wajali ya kwamba uko na roni it takes strength praise the name of the living god na kuna mahali hata nimesikia watu kadhaa wale wamezeka kidogo wanasema nyie dileta kwa kanyobeke mimi sitaki kujenga nyumba ingine. because anaona akijenga nyumba ingine ya gorofa inaweza kukuisha na yeye kuisha Ah, nyumba ikifika pale mwisho bwana pe sifa because hiyo nguvu ya kujenga hiyo nyumba ya gorofa kuitoa chini uifikishe juu ah, na uifanyie finishing na watu waingie ndani it takes strength inachukua nguvu ina, mimi nakwambia isipokuwa nikumtegemea Mungu 
It takes strength kusimamisha huduma. Mimi sio mara moja tunanyamaza na alilia Mungu. Ha? Kama haujui sili hii ya kulilia Mungu wa kutia nguvu, hauwezi. Mimi kuna wakati tunanyamaza na alilia Mungu na fungua moyo wangu. In that desperation, Mungu ananiwisha. Ananipatia nguvu. Praise the name of the living God. Kama haujui kufanya hivyo, that is why we have a lot of depression. Watu wengi wanataka kujiua because pia tuko na kizazi ambacho hakijapitia shida. Mtu akipata shida anaua mume. Mtu akipata shida, ha? Anaua mke wake. Because wengine hawajawahi kupitia shida na shida pia huwa inajenga mtu. Ni kama vile mazoezi yanajenga mtu wa nje. Nazo difficulties na challenges zinajenga mtu wa ndani. Praise the name of the living God. Hallelujah. Kwa hivyo ni kumaanisha kwamba whatever you go through reveals what you are made of. Ukiona unapitia adversity paka unasema afadhali nikufe. Ha? Unasikia umekuwa discouraged na hiyo ni kawaida. Ni nguvu zinakuishia. Unahitaji kumwambia Bwana nifanyie nguvu zangu upya. Psalms 23 from verse 1. Bibi inasema ya kwamba in Psalms 23 the Lord is my shepherd I shall not want He makes me to lie down in green pastures He leads me beside the still waters He restores my soul He leads me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake Praise the name of the living God Yeah Though I walk in, through the valley of the shadow of death, I'll fear no evil, for you are with me. You are Lord, and you are staff. They comfort me. Praise the name of the living God. Hallelujah. Unafaa kumfanya bwana awe mchungaji wako. Na hii siyo tu kusema. Ni kukubali ya kwamba mungu anaweza kukuongoza na kukusaidia katika maisha yako ili wakati moyo wako umevunjika he can restore your soul he can build your inner strength to be able to overcome challenges praise the name of the living god pastor waomi akifundisha jana alisema one of the reasons revivals are aborted that we don't reach to a place of revival it's because of the staying power you know it, it takes time even for the promises of God to be realized in your life. I have shared with you my testimony and I told you one of the greatest tests I went through in my life after calling is a test of time. It, it takes time. Even when you are doing everything right, it, it takes time for God to come through for you. And if you don't have the staying power to continue waiting, to continue fighting, Praise the name of the living God. It's not easy. When the psalmist say in Psalms 41, from verse 1, that I waited upon the Lord patiently. Huh? 40 from verse 1. 40 verse 1. Psalms 40 verse 1. Media tafadhari. Twende araka. We don't have a lot of time. I waited patiently for the Lord. And he inclined to me and heard my cry. He also brought me up out of a horrible pit, out of the miry clay, and set my feet upon a rock, and established my steps. It's not easy to wait upon the Lord patiently when you are in a horrible pit with miry clay. Now, unangoja hapo, that means you have the staying power. Hata katika shida yako, unaenderea kusema, siondoki kwa buwana. Nitamgojea Bwana atakuja kujionyesha mwenye nguvu kwa ajili yangu. Inachukua nguvu. Ha? na kama una nguvu, nimeona watu wengi, they were genuine, they loved God, but they lacked the staying power. Hawaku break through in life. Hawaku break through in their calling. Kwa sababu hiyo nguvu ya kukaa. Mimi katika ministry wakati niliingia full time, mimi nilikuwa nafikia Mungu atachukua muda mfupi aje. Kwa sababu ninaomba na funga naishi maisha matakatifu. Wakati nilimaliza miaka saba. Niliandikia mungu barua. 
kamwandikia our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name praise the name of the living god nikamwandikia barua nikamwambia sasa sijali kile unatakanga kunipatia lakini nimeona ukae na vitu zako kwa sababu hazipatikani kwa urahisi yeah i was very genuine because nilipoacha kazi nilikuwa nafikiria mungu atakuja haraka because i'm doing everything that i know lakini kumaliza mwaka wa kwanza mwaka guo zinaisha bag ulikuwa naenda naye mission inaisha nimefika mahali unaenda mission na paper bag ya ero ama sometimes unaweka nguo kwa carton mkienda mkuhubiri mnaweka na amplifier mkifika mnaambia uh, wale wame host hiyo carton muweke mahali wa dugu wa narara unaona dugu amechukua hivyo anauliza sio amplifier namwambia wewe weka hiyo carton mahali wa dugu wa narara because hautaki aibu ya kusema missionary amekuja na nguo na nguo ziko kwa carton bwana asiwe sana na sio ati ni nguo za maana zimebebwa pale ukifika hapa unafanya nini nikavunjika moyo nikasikia nimekata tamaa lakini nikasikia stahi ku backslide nikaenda katika nyumba ya bwana nikatokea altar call nikaambia my bishop niombe kwa sababu mungu tu anihurumia nisaidie aliponiwekelea mkono roho wa mungu akashuka juu yake akaniambia mungu akasema mungu anasema njia ninayokupitishia ndio mimi huwapitishia watumishi wangu baadaye ninawafanya watu wakubwa nikauliza njia ni hii hi tu na inataka nikwambie mungu hakuja the following year na hakuja mwaka huo mwingine lakini finally alikuja praise the name of the living god that staying power ya kukaa na mahali unangojea Mungu sio kwamba ni pazuri nataka nikwambia kwamba lazima uwe strong in the inside na siku ya leo watu wengi hawajaweza kuwa strong in the inside wanataka mambo ifanyike kwa haraka na isipofanyika they are going for plan b praise the name of the living god pia tumesikia injiri ambayo haikutujenga ndani ambayo haikutufahamisha ya kwamba there is a day of adversity ha? what do you do tumemaliza maombi after two, three days upoteze kazi ha? a loved one amekufa umeingia kwa accident utafanya nini hmm? na haya ni mambo ambayo yanatupata katika maisha haya ya kikupata utafanya nini do you have the staying power to remain standing and to remain strong no matter what comes on your way you stand tall declaring jesus is the lifter of my head unakataa kuinamishwa hata shida gani ije unakataa kuinamishwa paul anatuambia in the book of second corinthians uh, from chapter 4 we can read from verse 7 second corinthians 4:7 the bible says but we have this treasure in jars of clay to show that all this surpassing power is from god and not from us we are hard placed on every side but not crushed perplexed but not in despair persecuted but not abandoned struck down but not destroyed we always carry around in our around in our body the death of jesus so that uh, the life of jesus may also be revealed in our in, in, our, in our body let's jump to verse 16 verse 16 therefore we do not lose heart though outwardly we are wasting away yet inwardly we are being renewed day by day for our writer and momentary troubles are achieving for us an eternal glory that fast outweighs them all so we fix our eyes not on what is seen but on what is unseen for what is seen is temporary but what is unseen is eternal praise the name of the living god huyo ni paul anawafundisha watu juu ya kupitia katika shida na kutokea upande ule mwingine ukiwa mshindi that though in the outside you are wearing out 
sometimes tukifunga mili yetu ya nje inaisha nguvu lakini ndani tunafanywa upya sometimes hata mambo physical inaweza kuisha baada ya kuokoka lakini ndani yako bibi nasema unafaa kutiwa nguvu ukijua kuna faida kubwa zaidi na uenendi kwa kuona unaenenda kwa imani hata wakati umepoteza kila kitu jina la bwana lipewe sifa ni vizuri kujiuliza how am i strong how strong am i in the inside na unaweza kujipima ukijiangalia jiangalie mambo yale huwa inafanya you break down you get discouraged you feel you are giving up the bible says if you falter in the day of trouble the challenge is your strength is very very little kuna watu hata utaka kujiua jambo dogo tu mtu unasikia anasema unakafaa gwete hata afadhali nikufe na ni kitu kidogo tu hiyo ku give up sio mzuri katika maisha but hata wakati imefanyika niko hapa nikwambia kwamba it is normal yeah? we are not angels we are human beings praise the name of the living god na kuna mahali mtu anafika you falter unasikia hauna nguvu ya kuendelea umemtumainia Mungu miaka yako yote you become a widow what do you do umekuwa mchane mara moja umekuwa ukitoa fungu la 10 na kusupport kazi ya Bwana hiyo kazi imepotea utafanya nini Remaining tall and standing takes inner strength kwa sababu watu wengi wakipita mambo kama yale inawainamisha inawamaliza na kwa hivyo niko hapa mpendwa siku ya leo ninakuombea bwana akutie nguvu that you may stand tall like power and say i can do all things i can build my marriage through the strength that god has given me i can build a company praise the name of the living god it's not easy to build a business na iweze kusimama inahitaji ina strength kuna watu wengi hawawezi kujenga a company wanataka tu kuadikwa kazi kwa sababu kuadikwa kazi ni kukaa hapo ukishonga mpaka jioni hiyo siku imeisha ingine imeisha mwisho wa mwezi leta mshahara lakini kujenga kampuni lazima ufikirie lazima uwe na mental strength ya kupiga mahesabu pesa itatoka hawapi deni nitalipa namna gani nimeibiwa nimenyang'anywa kajo dio hii imekuja wanasema lazima nifunge KRA dio hawa wamefunga account ha unaweza ona KRA uone unaona mtu ameanguka amekwisha because sasa watu wa KRA wamekuja wame na ndio umeweka simu chini ya bank wanataka loan mtoto alifukuzwa jana ako nyumbani ukiogezewa jambo lingine una faint bwana siwe sana una faint so there are things that you cannot be able to achieve in this life if you are weak ukiwa mdhaifu hata kujenga nyumba atutoe nyumba kwa msingi ifike juu ha huh? praise the name of the living god hiyo anxiety Unaenda unafikiria mafundi walimaliza msingi wanakuambia tunataka simiti mia moja. Na ulikuwa unafikiria foundation imekwisha. Na anawakwambia ukileta simiti mia moja tafadhali lazima pesa ya kukoroga itakuwa elfu na saba. Unasikia ni kama taya imetolewa pressure because wewe ulikuwa unafikiria foundation imemaliza. There is a lot of anxiety wale tumezoea kujenga unajenga na anxiety unafikiria tumefika hapa unafikiria hii pesa itafika hapa haifikishi hiyo anxiety inaweza kukunyonya nguvu ikumalize paka uache nyumba imee nyasi ukiona nyumba za watu zimesimama huku na kuru paka unauliza huyo ale giliyo kulekia nyumba eno enda uogee naye atakwambia maneno atakwambia aliona nitapumzika haraka hii nyumba nikiendelea kushughulika naye inaweza kunipeleka nyumbani jina la bwana lipewe sifa lakini bibi inasema wamjuao wamtegemeao bwana wamtegemeao bwana hiyo siri ya kujua kumtegemea bwana it's not easy ukisikia mimi naiba tenzi ya kusema kumtegemea mwokozi kwangu ta mukabisa 
ku hiyo kumtegemea sio rahisi you train yourself ha? unangojiwa ibada ya rancha ya uhubiri lakini in the morning mlikuwa na accountant akakuletea wale wote wanadai madeni ukaona zimefika milioni 26 na bado unangojewa kwa ibada ukuje uhubiri praise the name of the living god haleluya mtoto die huyo na yeye ameasi hapitire njia ungetaka kama mzazi jina la bwana lipewe sifa una combine mambo kadhaa paka unashindwa nitaweza kusimama mbele ya watu niongee kweli nitawaambia nini unasikia ni kama injiri imeyuka imeenda kwa hewa so some of these things they are for strong people ha huh? inahitaji uwe na nguvu hata kuna mambo mengine Mungu hawezi kukuaminia ni kukupeleka nyumbani mapema wengine mnaomba nataka kuwa bilionea unafikiria kitabu utengeneze bilioni moja utakuwa umekutana wakora wangapi kitabu utengeneze bilioni moja utakuwa umesumbuana na wafanyikazi wangapi ukiwaandika ukiwafuta kazi praise the name of the living god challenges nyingi it's not you don't don't just pray a prayer but you don't know what it takes for you to become what you are praying for haujui itakugalimu nini so lazima ujue na wezaje kumtegemea bwana anitie nguvu hiyo kujua ku depend moyo wako unawezaenda mbele za bwana aniutapa divine strength jina bwana ipewe sifa mimi naweza kuwa overwhelmed a few minutes i go in the presence of god i raise myself i cry for five minutes i am renewed praise the name of the living god haleluya unas kuna wakati unasikia mambo ni mengi katika maisha lakini ukijua jinsi ya kutap hiyo ndio Paulo alisema i can do all things alijua hiyo siri akajua kuna nguvu ambazo huwa zinatokana na Bwana na hizo nguvu ukizipokea utajenga ndoa yako bila wasiwasi bila ku give up Nehemiah chapter 4 and verse 10 Bibi nasema ya kwamba wakati Nehemiah walikuwa wanajenga ukuta kuna wakati walifika mahali wakaishiwa na nguvu ah uh, the bible says meanwhile the people in judah said the strength of the laborers is giving out and there is so much labor that we cannot rebuild the wall unajua wanajenga ukuta na ni ukuta ulikuwa umebomolewa sasa wakaona kuna kifusi kuna takataka nyingi na lazima muondoe mkiendelea kujenga sasa wakasema the strength of the laborers is giving out. Watu wanashindwa. Kuna wakati pia katika maisha yako kuna kuwa na takataka nyingi. Mumekosana mara nyingi katika ndoa. Sijui kama umeshai ever notice ya kwamba sometimes wakati watu wanaachana katika ndoa hata siku hiyo sio kwamba lazima wao wamepigana. Mtu anaweza amka asubuhi uone mama amepaki vitu vyake na aende paka akiulizwa ulifanywa nini asubuhi mzee anakuja anasema hakuna muulize mimi hakuna kitu nimemfanyia leo hakuna sijamuguza lakini mama atakwambia ah my grandmother alikuwa anasema kuanzia mwaka wa hamsini na nane anakuhesabia mambo paka unaona kweli guvu imeisha kama amepigana hiyo vita yote so kuna mahali unafika unasikia nguvu zimekwisha Nehemiah alisema watu wamekuishiwa na nguvu taka taka ni nyingi ya kuondoa there are times unaweza kudina a one challenge after the other one challenge after the other unafika mahali unasikia sasa hauna nguvu tena nataka nikwambie tumeanza mwaka mwingine mpya pokea nguvu za kuendelea mwaka huu pokea neema ya kuendelea mwaka huu you are not going to give up you are not going to be displaced you are not going to be discouraged in the mighty name of jesus kwa hivyo wakati unasema tutajenga kanisa kubwa tutajenga city na mambo kama yale wapendwa it requires strong people it requires strong people and for you to be strong it depends on your ability to holy surrender Joshua and Caleb it's not that they were not like the other men but the bible says they were following the lord wholeheartedly they were 
wholly surrendered to God. Kuna mambo, kuna vita huwezi pigana katika maisha haya. If you don't know to how to wholly surrender to God, for God to become your strength. Praise the name of the living God. Daudi baada ya kupigana vita vyake vyote na kupigana kukimbizwa na Saul in Psalms 18 from verse 1 kuna maneno alisema pale in Psalms uh, um, from verse 1 Psalms 18 from verse 1 inasema I love you O Lord my strength the Lord is my lock my fortress and my deliverer my God is my lock in whom I take refuge he is my shield and the horn of my salvation my stronghold watch at Luke verse 32 let's go to verse 32 anaendea kusema hii ni baada ya kushinda vita kushinda hata wakati alikuwa nakimbizwa na sor au wawe akasema it is God who arms me with strength and makes my way perfect. He makes my feet like the feet of a deer. He enables me to stand on the heights. He trains my hands for battle. My arms can bear a bow of, of bronze. Let's, you're 34. Let's, let's shift to King James Version, verse 34. Anasema, he teaches my hands to make war so that my arms can bear a bow of bronze. Tuendere haraka. Inasema, you have also given me the shield of your salvation. Your right hand has held me up. Your gentleness has made me great. You enlarged my path under me so that my feet did not slip. I have pursued my enemies and overtaken them. Neither did I turn back. That means you can turn back sometimes. Huh? Till they were destroyed. I have wounded them so they could not rise. They have fallen under my feet. For you have armed me. Look at that. For you have armed me with strength for battle. You have subdued under me those who rose against me. You have also given me the nets of my enemies so that I destroyed those who hated me they cried out but there was none to save even to the Lord but he did not answer them then I beat them as fine as the dust before the wind I cast them out like dirt in the streets you have delivered me from the strivings of the people you have made me the head of the nations a people I have not known shall serve me Let's go up to verse 45. As soon as they hear me, of me, they obey me. The foreigners submit to me. The foreigners fade away and come frightened from their hideouts. Hayo ni maneno ya mtu ambaye anajua nguvu zake zinatoka wapi. Wapendwa kukimbizana na maadui wako. Ha? Unaomba, unafunga, una, unafikiri umebomoa misingi yote na madhabahu ha baadaye unaona bado kuna mambo yanainua kichwa paka unauliza mpaka lini na vile apostle alituambia we have broken the stubborn barriers kwani zimerudi praise the name of the living god hallelujah kuna hitaji that in a strength for you to keep going na kuna viwango Mungu huwa anaona huyu ni kimuinua kiwango kingine hataweza kushikilia Hata kuwa na nguvu. Because hata levels pia ziko na vita. Kuna vita unakutana nazo vile unavyoenda kuinuka. Sometimes mungu naeza kuwa na huyu kumuinua itakuwa ni changamoto. Kwa sababu hawezi kuhithistand zile changamoto zitakazo kuja na kile kiwango ambacho anaitisha. Njina labwana ipewe sifa. Kuna watu wengine hatuna miri mikubwa lakini ndani we are strong. Praise the name of the living God. Na hizi nguvu hazitokani na sisi wenyewe. Hizi nguvu zimetokana na kujua kumtegemea mungu. Jina rabwana nipewe sifa. So wale ambao unapitia changamoto katika maisha. Jua kufungua moyo wako na kupata kunyonya nguvu. 
kutoka kwa Bwana. Unakuja hapa unapiga magoti. Unamwambia Bwana, nimekataa kushindwa. Nimekataa kuzimia. Mimi wakati mwingine huwa ninaomba na mwambia Bwana, hapa sio mwisho wangu. Mimi lazima niendelee. Haba kuku chapter 3 verse 19. Amerudia hayo maneno ya Psalms. Praise the name of the living God. Haba kuku chapter 3 and verse 19. Bibi inasema Ah, uh, the sovereign Lord is my strength. He makes my feet like the feet of a deer. He enables me to go to the height. Praise the name of the living God. Ukiangalia Hebrews soma from verse 16 one, kwa nini anasema the sovereign Lord is my strength? Ah? Uh, I had and my heart pounded. My lips quivered at the sound. Decay crept into my bones and my legs trembled. Yet I wait patiently for the day of calamity to come on the nation invading us. Though the fig tree does not bud and there are no grapes on the vines, though the olive crops fails and the fields produce no food, though there are no sheep in the pen and no cattle in the stalls, yet I will rejoice in the Lord. I will be joyful in God my savior. Then you akasema the sovereign Lord is my strength there are times you cannot be able to draw strength from the outside because the outside there is nothing to encourage you the outside has nothing to give you hope you must know how to draw strength from your maker bwana pae sifa sio ati biashara ikianguka kidogo unaanza sasa tena kusema naona mungu ameniwaachilia sasa ona biashara imeharibika sasa ona madeni nitalipa na nini unakata katatama. Mungu hutrain watoto wake wote wakose kutegemea mambo wanayoona wajue kutegemea yeye so ukiona umevunjika moyo na mambo unayo ya ona angalia juu na umwambie Bwana msaada wangu utatoka kwako jina la Bwana lipewe sifa Sijui ni wangapi wamepitia hiyo training. Mimi nimepitia hiyo training ya kujua just to know that art, that technology of getting strength from God and you keep going. You keep going not because there are no challenges, not because there are no temptations, not because you are not discouraged sometimes, but you keep going because you know how to do strength from God. Praise the name of the living God. Unaendelea kusonga mbele katika maisha yako. Jina la Bwana lipewe sifa. Haleluya. Wapendwa, kufika kwa hatima kunahitaji ina strength. Kuna watu wengi hawezi kufika mahali Mungu alikusudia. I remember one time my friend uh, who passed on Pastor Wanjohi aliniambia aliona watu kuna pahali wanatoka kuna mahali wanapaswa kwenda. Sasa aliona sisi tuko mahali tumechoka tumekaa chini lakini akafunguliwa macho akaona mahali tunaenda ni karibu kuliko kule tumetoka but surprising ile mahali tulikuwa kuna watu wengine walikuwa wamechoka wanarudi kule wametoka wanakosa kuona mahali wanaenda ndio karibu kuliko kule wametoka hivyo ndivyo safari ya imani huwa mtu anaweza enda bali na Mungu lakini wakati yako on the verge of breakthrough wakati yako on the verge of blessing anachoka na anaanza ku backslide mambo yale alikuwa anafanya anayawacha kumbe ndio alikuwa karibu lakini amezimia na kataa kuzimia kwa sababu ninamjua yule anipae nguvu praise the name of the living god naweza kufanya mambo yote mimi naweza kujenga biashara kubwa ya kimataifa mimi naweza kujenga huduma ya kimataifa naweza kujenga ndoa itakayomletea bwana utukufu praise the name of the living god i can do parenting parenting is not for the weak especially watoto wakati wanafika ma teenagers wale mko na watoto wadogo miaka tano, miaka mbili hivi ni rais naita mtoto namwambia leta hiyo kiboko ni kuchape wacha afike miaka kumi na nane. Hmm? Ndio anakuuliza kwani ulikuwa unataka nifanye nini? <laughs> Praise the name of the living God. Mnaanza kujibizana. Ah? 
unafika hapo mpaka unauliza haka dio nilikuwa nashika hivi kanapotelea kwa kwa blanket sasa ameanza kunijibu ameanza kufanya vile anavyotaka ukiwa mzazi and you are not strong in parenting unaweza you can give up mpaka useme kwa nini nilizaa watoto nilikuwa na wazawa nini ukiona watu wengine walikataa kuzaa watoto si unajua kuna mafataifa wamekataa kuzaa watoto ni kwa sababu parenting is not for the weak parenting is only for the strong praise the name of the living god kulea mtoto awe mtu mkubwa awe na ndoa yake ajisimamie kuna vita vya kupigana wakati mwingine utasikia watoto wamekuvunja moyo na siongei sasa watoto wa miaka tatu, miaka ine. ha hao ni wakuambia leo hakuna chakula tunafunga lakini watakapofika miaka mbili unasema mnafunga anasema siku wa tiali <laughs> paka unasema lakini hapa hakutapikwa jina bana ipewe sifa anasema ni sawa nitaenda kununua chips unamuliza kwani ulitoa pesa wapi anasema si pesa zangu so wako na pesa yake sasa na hata ujui anatoa wapi jina la bwana ipewe sifa sasa hapo ndio unashidwa sasa huyu kama ningeweza kumeza akiwa hai ningemeza hmm? hapo ndio unaanza kufanya mkono hivi unatafuta kiti ya kukalia kwa sababu paka unasikia magoti imekwisha gufu <laughs> unasema sikutarajia wajiru atawahi kunijibu hivyo na vile nilisubuka na yeye akiwa mtoto wakati alikuwa na polio <coughs> unakumbuka siku zile mlikuwa mnalala na yeye hospitali praise the name of the living god haleluya lakini sasa amekuwa mtu mkubwa anaweza kukujibu praise the name of the living god wazazi pokeeni neema parenting is for the strong don't give up in the mighty name of jesus uh, for you to build a marriage that is why ndoa zinavunjika ha huh? mimi nikiangalia mambo mama yangu alivumilia <sighs> bwana ampe sifa watu wengi hawezi kuvumilia siku ya leo marriage to build a marriage inahitaji mtu strong unajua watu wengi wanao wanao wanakuelewa wanafikiria ati kujenga ndoa ni rahisi Taenda hani munimurudi mtajua sio rahisi. Jina bwana ipewe sifa. Lakini niwapatia siri wakati mtaanza kuingia saving mode at least wakati hiyo itakuwa rahisi kwa sababu hamuna nguvu ya kupigania makelele. Hamuna nguvu ya kujibizana. Sasa ile nguvu mko naye ni ya kulizana tutakula nini. Na hata ikipikwa ile hautaki. Unakula tu. Because uko katika saving mode zamani nilikuwa nasema sikuli hiyo muwekere ingine. na inawekelewa tu sasa mtu atafanya nini na uko na nguvu ya kupigana na unaweza piga makere mpaka saa tisa ya usiku lakini ukiingia saving mode paka unaongea mpaka mama anakuuliza did i go leo lauga sisikii vile unasema na zamani nilikuwa unaongea mpaka mama anasema kai si unyamaze juu ya majirani nini <laughs> Unaka kama mtu amewekwa kwa on speaker. <laughs> Tunakuangalia tu piga kelele. Siku moja utaenda kwa saving mode. Praise the name of the living God. Useme wacha nioko ile nguvu niko naye kidogo nifanye mambo ya muhimu. Colossians chapter 1 verse 29. Colossians chapter 1 verse 29 and 30 to this end i labor struggling with all his energy which so powerfully works in me i want you to know how much i am struggling for you and for those in ledokia and for all those who have not met me personally paul anasema hii kazi ninayofanya kuna nguvu ambazo alikuwa anazisikia hebrew katika hiyo mstari Huh? I want you to know how much uh, to this end 
I labor, struggling with all his energy, which so powerfully works in me. New Living Translation in Asemaji. That's why I work and struggle so hard, depending on Christ's mighty power that works within me. For you to be able to struggle and to work, you need Christ's mighty power working within you. Paul ali angesikia hizo nguvu. Mimi huwa nasikia hizo nguvu zikifanya kazi ndani yangu. That is why you are able to work. Una struggle na mambo mazito paka mahali ya kuna njia kuna kuwa na njia lazima usikie hizo nguvu ndani yako lazima usikie hiyo energy na hiyo energy sio energy yako ni Yesu Kristo anayekutia nguvu jina la Bwana lipewe sifa so wapendwa tukijua siri ya kupokea hizo nguvu maisha yetu yatakuwa rahisi lakini tusipojua siri ya kupokea hizo nguvu wacha nikwambie nyakati zile tunaishi sio rahisi But the Bible says in Daniel 11:32 part B them that shall know their God they shall be strong and they shall do exploits but the people who know their God will be strong and resist him these are we are entering the days of antichrist we are in the end times there will be challenges but one of the advantages of knowing God is that them that shall know their God they will be strong you receive divine strength so hizi wanasema mental health ime deteriorate na katikati ya watu kumi, wa ine, wako na mental problem hiyo mental problem inamaanisha wako na stress at some levels wengine wako depressed at some levels ndio unaona hizi visa zinakuwa nyingi so out of 10 uh, uh, people hebu hesabu hapo karibu na wewe watu kumi, alafu uchague wa ine. uone kama hautafikiwa <laughs> Bwana asifiwe sana ninawaombea mwaka wa 2022 that you are going to be strong I declare mental challenges are not your problem you are not going to suffer from mental health there will be no confusion Bwana pe sifa na unajua mental health inaanzanga polepole Unatoka nje, unakubuka kitu, unarudi, unaingia kwa bedroom, unasema nikigogeraga. Nilikuwa narudi nini? Paka unasema wacha nirudi vile nimekuja. I pick that thought again. Paka unarudi mahali ulikuwa tena. <laughs> you pick the thought again. Unaenda mara ya pili. By the time tena ufike, unasahau nikigogera. Hapo unajua mambo inaanza kukuedea mrama. <laughs> <laughs> Inaanza gatu hivyo pole pole. Unaenda kwa duka unauliza mtu wa duka, "Niki kukaa kogora? Nilikuwa nakuja kununua nini?" Mtu wa duka anakwambia hata mimi sijui. <laughs> Ukiona mambo inaenda hivyo, ukamenya ni daji ya kogoro kakahora. Nimeanza. Sasa hapo ndio unaenda kwa Yesu na mwambia, "Oh God, <laughs> give me strength. Praise the name of the living God." Sitaki kuwa na mento Eh, hey, na kuweka vitu na kusahau. Uko na simu dakika moja, dakika nyingine wanaambia, "Taolea hivi moyo yako, nipigie ni hiyo simu." Alafu inapigwa inapatikana kwa mfuko. <laughs> Bwana asifiwe sana na waombea nguvu mwaka wa 2022 katika jina la Yesu. So, kwa nini tunakura hii meza ya Bwana? John 6 from verse 48. Tunakura meza ya Bwana kwa sababu meza ya Bwana ilikuwa inakusudiwa ya kutia wa Kristo nguvu. 6:48 nasema I am the bread of life. Your fathers ate the, ate the manna in the desert yet they died but here is a bread that comes down from heaven which a man may eat and not die I am the living bread that came down from heaven if anyone eats of this bread he will live forever 
This blood is my flesh, which I will give for the life of the world. Then the Jews began to argue sharply among themselves. How can this man give us his flesh to eat? Jesus said to them, I tell you the truth. Unless you eat the flesh of the Son of Man and drink his blood, you have no life in you. Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood has eternal life. And I will raise him up at the last day. For my flesh is a little food and my brother is a little drink whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood remains in me so the Lord's table gives people the strength not to backslide the bible says whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood remains in me and i in him just as the living father sent me and i live because of the father so the one who feeds on me we will live because of me. The last verse we are going to read, uh, verse 58. Uh, this is a bread that came down from heaven. Your fathers ate manna and died. But he who feeds on this bread will live forever. Bwana pewe sifa. Meza ya bwana tunapokura. Amba inasimamia mwili na damu ya kristo. Yesu kristo. Irikuwa ya kutusimamisha dani ya kristo. Na kuweza kuendelea. Bila kushindwa. Praise the name of the living God. Hiki, ata kama unaona, uh, there are small elements kamkate kidogo na iyo kikombe. Inakupatia spiritual power. My wife aliongea juu ya Elijah. Vile alitiwa supernatural power. The Lord's table is supposed to release a supernatural power into the lives of believers. And that power we will be the staying power for them to wait upon the Lord, for them to overcome temptations. You will receive strength that you need for your business, that you need for your marriage, that you need for your calling, for you to stand and to remain in standing until the Lord comes through for you. Praise the name of the living God. May you receive divine strength as we partake this table. Receive divine strength today. In the, those who are on the verge of giving up, uh, you are not going to give up uh, on your assignment, uh, on your business. Uh. Wale tumevunjwa moyo na biashara. Nimeona wafanyi biashara waliofika mwisho, wamekata tamaa. Lakini walipoendelea kusimama, hata kama kulikuwa na madeni na changamoto, finally walifauru. Kwa sababu baada ya giza kuna nuru. Morning may endure for a night, uh, but joy comes in the morning uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, I release the staying power for the year 2022 in the name of Jesus. Watu atakuwa na kuangalia wanashanga. Huyu badu amesimama na viri ya kona mambo mengi. Huyu muzea anawezaje kufanya hii biyashara. Anawezaje kujenga hii nyumba. Anawezaje kuwa na kampuni biri, kampuni tatu. Ni kwa sababu kuna yule ya kutia engufu na unaweza kufanya in the name of Jesus, uh, can somebody declare, I receive the staying power in the name of Jesus. Uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 10 and verse 18, inatuenyeshe ya kwamba, kuna nguvu zinazo patikana, watu anapo kura katika madhabau. Consider the people of Israel. Do not those who eat the sacrifices participate in the altar. Do I mean then that a sacrifice offered to, the, to an idol is anything? Or that an idol is anything? No! But the sacrifices of pagans are offered to demons, not to God. And I do not want you to be participants. So when people eat in the altar, if it is a demonic altar, they become participants with the demons. Verse 21, you cannot drink the cup of the Lord uh, and the cup of demons too. You cannot have part in both the Lord's table and the table of demons. So when people eat in an altar, whatever elements they partake, depending on the covenant and the agreement, they partake of the spirit of the altar. So when we partake the Lord's table in the altar of the Most High, we are strengthened by the spirit of God. 
we receive uh, divine strength uh, to overcome challenges. Uh, praise the name of the living God. To rise up uh, to our destiny. We are given uh, the feet of a deer that we may be able to climb uh, to our high places. Uh, I declare the grace uh, to continue climbing uh, to your high places uh, in the name of Jesus. You know, climbing is not easy. Hapa nyuma kuna kuanga na some stairs na sometimes huwa ninapanda ukifika kama floor ya tatu floor ya ine unasikia magoti ya yeah, nguvu imechukuliwa nyingi so wakati hapa kuna sema ni Mungu anayefanya migu yangu kama ya kurungu naweza panda mahali palipo inuka ni ishara ya kwamba kupanda ufike kilele cha hatima yako kunachukua nguvu nyingi na kuna watu hawatafika kilele cha hatima yao wasipojua kujiunganisha na Kristo awape nguvu watafika mahali watakwama ninakutangazia we hautakwama kila moja everyone under my voice uh, receive the grace of God uh, be strengthened by the grace of God uh, in the name of Jesus uh, you have taken time to pray and fast uh, the bible says do not be strengthened by food uh, but be strengthened by the grace of God uh, i release the strengthening of the grace of God uh, you are going to become stronger and stronger and stronger because the house of david uh, must become stronger in the name of Jesus uh, even as the house of Saul uh, becomes weaker i declare you are becoming stronger in the year 2022 you are not giving up uh, in your dreamer in your vision i am not going to give up on my vision for revival in the mighty name of jesus i am not going to give up in my vision for this nation becoming a springboard of revival the destiny of my nation will not be aborted yes we have been fighting for a while for the destiny of the nation but i receive divine strength i'll continue fighting for kenya my motherland in the name of jesus you shall not be destroyed your destiny will not be aborted in the name of jesus i receive divine strength in the name of jesus rise up on your feet kila baganda baboshi rika baganda baboshanda baganda rika baganda bashanda baganda i want us to make this prayer psalms 23 and verse 26 rika baganda baboshanda psalms 73 and verse 26 i want us to pray and to believe god that he will release a mighty mighty breakthrough in this service the bible says my flesh and my heart may fail but god is the strength of my heart and my portion forever can you lift your hands and tell god you are the strength of my heart you are the strength of my inner man in the name of you are my portion forever yes sometimes my body i may feel weaker I may be on the verge of giving up uh, in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, but Lord, I receive divine strength. Uh, I receive divine strength. Uh, there is a strengthening. Uh, Rika Maganda. This is a season uh, of them that shall know their God uh, to become stronger uh, in the face of adversity, in the face of challenges, uh, in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, economic challenges, uh, in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, Rika Maganda Bashanda. I refuse to give up. Uh, Rika Baganda Bashanda. Rika Baganda Bashanda Baganda. Rika Baganda Bashanda. Pray for your heart. Uh, Pray for your heart. Declare in the year 2022, the Lord is my strength. Reka baganda bashanda. Reka baganda. Reka baganda bashanda. Reka baganda rimahanda babose. Reka baganda bashanda baganda. Pray for your heart. Pray for divine strengthening in your inner man. Reka maganda mashanda. Reka maganda mashanda. Declare I shall overcome every bad report in this year. Reka maganda mashanda. Reka maganda mashanda. I declare in Jesus' name I will remain stronger in the face of adversity. 
in the mighty name of Jesus. Reka Maganda, I refuse to falter. Can you speak to yourself and declare, I am going to finish my house. I am going to build my business. I am going to build my career. I am going to pursue my mandate. I am called for revival. Prophesy to yourself. Speak to the inner man and declare, this company is going to be established in the mighty name of Jesus. My calling and my gift is going to rise higher in the year 2022. Reka Maganda Mashanda, I am not going to falter in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Reka Maganda Bashanda. Reka Maganda Bashanda Baganda. Reka Maganda Mashanda Baganda. Reka Maganda. I will continue to seek the face of God until I receive the anointing, uh, until I see the manifestation uh, of the multifaceted grace of God uh, in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, Reka Maganda, I'll continue pressing on uh, until I get hold uh, of that which Christ Jesus uh, has gotten hold for me in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, receive uh, the power in the name of Jesus. Uh, Reka Maganda Mashanda. Reka Maganda. Oh my God, uh, Razima usikie hizo nguvu zikifanya kazi ndani yako. Razima we unasikia hizo nguvu hata ukiwa peke yako unasema niko na nguvu zingine zinafanya kazi ndani yangu. Oh my God, uh, kuna watu dhaifu unaondoka, kuna watu nyonge unaondoka, hautakuwa mnyonge, hautakuwa mdhaifu tena. Dio umepanuliwa zile changamoto umepitia umepanuliwa umepanuliwa utakuwa kama Daudi utakimbiza maadui reka maganda paka wote uamalize hautawaachilia reka maganda mashanda bwana atatia mikono yako nguvu utaendelea kupigana vita reka maganda the bible says in the book of Ephesians chapter 6 and verse 10 reka maganda mashanda Reka Maganda, that we must be stronger. The Bible says, uh, finally, be strong in the Lord uh, and in His mighty power. Declare, uh, I am going to be strong in the Lord. Uh, I am going to be strong in the Lord uh, and in His mighty power. In the name of Jesus, uh, I am growing stronger. I am waxing stronger. After 21 days of prayer, I have waxed stronger. In the name of Jesus, uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, I have been strengthened. Uh, how continue fighting? Uh, how continue pressing on? Uh, my business, uh, my marriage, uh, my career, parenting. Uh, I am not giving up uh, on my children. Uh, in the name of Jesus, Rekabaganda uh, Bashanda. I am not giving up on my marriage. Rekabaganda Mashanda Baganda. Rekabaganda Mashanda Baganda. Reka baganda mashanda baganda Reka maganda mashanda baganda baburia Reka maganda Wengine kire kiwango uko Umeitiwa kiwango cha juu zaidi Enderea kupanda mwaka huu Enderea kupanda Pokea nema ya kupanda Hautamalizia huu mwaka mahali uko Utamalizia kiwango kingine Dio, dio, pokea hiyo nema Pokea hizo nguvu Nguvu za kupanda The Lord is making you a feet Like the feet of a deer Yes, yes Yes! Yes! Sakata Baganda. Reka Baganda Mashanda. Reka Baganda Mazia. Reka Baganda Mashanda. Reka Baganda Mazeria. Oh my God. Oh my King and my Savior. Receive the staying power to wait upon the Lord. Oh my God, declare I'm going to soar with wings like an eagle. Oh, Shaka Baganda, Reka Maganda Bashanda. When you don't cry like a deer, you can soar with wings. Oh, an eagle enjoys the storms. Reka Maganda Bashanda. The storms of life are not going to bring me down. I am going to soar with wings. Reka Maganda, I am going to release myself. Reka Maganda Mashanda, God is taking over my battles. He is going to fight for me. He is my way maker. He is my deliverer. Hey, hey, hey. The presence of God is coming down. God is touching some people in a very special way. Kuna watu mungu wanawaguza. Kuna kazimbe kubwa iko bere yako. Na unaitaji nguvu nyingi. He, 
day shall come again for you to manifest your greatness wengine ninaona kama maono mungu anawapa nguvu kama vile mbegu huwa inasukuma mchanga mpaka itokee wengine mungu anawapatia hiyo nguvu mtasukuma paka vipawa vyenu paka mwito wenu ujulikane katika mataifa hiyo nguvu ya kusukuma hiyo nguvu ya kusukuma paka kipawa chako paka mwito wako uweze kutokea ipokee kila mahali ipokee 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 wengine mko na vipawa vimefunikwa pokea nguvu ya kusukuma vipawa vimefunikwa pokea neema ya kusukuma lazima utokee wewe lazima utokee mwaka wa 2022 anza kutokea anza kuonekana hesha kama ganda kama mbegu inavyosukuma mchanga hesha kama ganda lazima uwe na nguvu ya kusukuma shaka maganda reka maganda rima reka maganda rima zeria kila baganda baboshe reka baganda baboshanda baganda reka baganda rababoshe rebegenda thank you lord thank you my father nataka niwaombe na hilo ndilo neno Mungu aliweka ndani yangu ni shiriki na nyinyi ya kwamba anataka ku strengthen watu wake kwa sababu ya kazi iliyo mbele yetu wengine ameona tukififia lakini ujue unaweza tu kufanya mambo yote kupitia Kristo akutia nguvu mpendwa you can embarrass yourself ukitegemea nguvu zako we mwenyewe ukitegemea tu masomo yako you can embarrass yourself ufanye mambo haujawahi fikiria unaweza kufanya lakini unaponyenyekea na kujua kumtegemea Bwana Mungu atakutia nguvu atakutia nguvu kama ulikuwa unasikia kudhoofika siku ya leo hii meza ya Bwana ya siku ya leo ni ya kukutia nguvu utaendelea mwaka mzima bila kuchoka utaendelea mwaka mzima bila kuzimia hautafifia katika maombi hautafifia katika utakatifu wewe utabaki ndani ya Kristo maroho ya backsliding haitakupata you are going to remain in him and him in you in the name of Jesus baba nakushukuru kwa sababu ya neno hili ulinipatia ni kwa sababu umeangalia kanisa lako na umeona nyakati ambazo tunazoishi zinahitaji tukujue na faida moja ya kukujua ni kukua na nguvu na kwa hivyo bwana kwa sababu tumekujua na ni wewe tumekuwa tukitafuta tunapokea nguvu siku ya leo tunapokea neema ya kuendelea siku ya leo tunakataa kudhoofika siku ya leo kuna watu umeweka ukuda ni yao na ili wadhihirishe ukuu wamebeba lazima wawe na nguvu wakati mwingine mambo yatakuwa mazito wakati mwingine tukiangalia nje tunaweza vunjika moyo lakini tunatangaza ndani siku ya leo tunaenda kutiwa nguvu tunaposhiriki katika hii meza wacha iachilie neema na upako usio wa kawaida katika maisha yetu kupitia nguvu na uweza wako i declare the power to transform and to change us to turn our weakness into strength we worship you and we praise you in jesus name we pray amen tunaweza kukaa chini tutajiandaa kushiriki katika meza na tutachukua dakika chache tu kuweza because after the table we are just going to finish the service i would like to give you this opportunity to give your offering na tunapotoa sadaka nitauliza wale wanao serve na wao you can give your offering then go to your serving point we have different serving points everywhere they are serving point uh, let us give our offerings kama vile ni sema friday uh, kuna project tulianza a few years ago na tukumalizia ya kubai missionary equipment tulibakisha kununua basi 
na kwa hivyo your first fruit or your seed for this year itatusaidia kumaliza hiyo project so we can maybe do a special giving on sunday those who are not ready you can still prepare on sunday we can be able to give that special offering as our first fruit as our seed for the year na itatusaidia kufanya kazi iliyo mbele yetu baba nabariki sadaka na matoleo ya ibada hii yapokee na ukubali tu kuachilia baraka na kibali juu ya maisha ya watu wako in jesus name we pray amen you can use our paper numbers kutoa sadaka yako paper number 8078 or 7101 and 807100 you can use the paper numbers 807101 or 807100 pia unaweza tumia mpesa number 0717944404 0711121207060626262626 mungu awabariki tunatupo muabudu mungu na matoleo yetu Uh, nitauliza wale wanao serve sasa tujiandae wale wako hapa ndani if you need the basket ashas wako na nafasi ya kukuelekeza if you need an envelope na wale wako kwa online thank you for your offering as you use our mpesa platforms in the name of jesus mungu akikuweka mzigo wa kusupport hiyo uh, project ya kununua basi Just receive it from the Lord and obey as the Lord leads you in the name of Jesus. We can do that even in the coming week and God is going to bless us. Wale wako nyumbani, I said you can prepare for some elements, some juice, some bread or some biscuits. Whatever you have, we are going to partake it by faith. The Lord's table is like a prophetic action to help us to connect with the finished work of the cross the juice represent the blood the blood represent the body and jesus said my flesh and my blood is a little food there is life in it so kuna uhai ambao tutakaopokea siku ya leo na huo uhai ni hizo nguvu za ndani the staying power to help you to keep going. Season hii ya maombi niliongea sana juu ya backsliding. Na tukaona hakika watu wengi wamerudi nyuma. Nataka tumwamini Bwana as we partake this table. The way we have begun the year. The same way we are going to finish the year even more stronger. Ni vibaya watu kuanza mwaka na hawamalizi. Wameingia katika mambo ya dunia. They have been entangled uh, into the things of this world. Mungu atusaidie tunaanza mwaka by the time tunamaliza we are in a higher level than where we began the year that is the will of god that we may move from one glory to the other by the time we come to the end of the year you feel stronger more effective because of that inner strength hizo nguvu za ndani the staying power ya kuendelea kusimama hata wakati mambo nje sio mazuri bado unakuwa na hiyo nguvu ya kusimama hata wakati unasikia it's a climbing lane ni kupanda unapanda Mungu anakusaidia and you continue climbing to your high places in Jesus name um, we are going to take very few minutes because we have so many serving points zile ambazo tunatumia uh, wale ambao wana serve i think they are preparing washing their hands to come and help us to serve um, and i know we are going to receive the touch of god even as we partake this table kuna wakati wa meza ya bwana tumeona watu wakiponya wakipona magonjwa instantly instant healing kubalia udhaifu wote hata katika mwili wako uondoke hata spiritual weakness ambayo umekuwa naye unasikia wewe unataka kuomba wewe unataka kufunga wewe unataka kumtafuta Mungu lakini unasikia wewe ni mnyonge muamini Bwana ya kwamba atawasaidia can we read one more scripture proverbs 13 and verse 12 as we prepare 
Proverbs 13 and verse 12 inasema hope deferred makes the heart sick but a longing fulfilled is a tree of life hope deferred makes the heart sick moja wapo ya mambo yale yanafanya tusikia tuna nguvu is when hope is deferred yani ulitumainia jambo fulani litafanyika linakosa kufanyika hiyo inaweza kuwa chanzo cha kupoteza nguvu na kuvunjika moyo ningetaka uombe bwana as you take this table your heart is not going to be sick if there is something that you did not receive or happened that you did not expect in the last year or last years ask god heal my heart kama kuna jambo you know sometimes we cannot be able to receive from god when uh, our hearts are broken broken cisterns cannot hold any water na kwa hivyo mungu anaweza kuja kukuweka nguvu lakini kumbe wewe uko na mashimo sasa unatoka tu kwa ibada ile ulipokea kidogo inaishia hapa kwa barabara kwa sababu kuna mambo yamekutoboa toboa yamekuumiza umiza yamekuvunja ya moyo i release the healing of every heart that has been hurt in the last year or in the past years in the name of jesus everything that has broken your heart maybe you lost some money lost some business lost your job i declare the healing of your heart in this service in the name of jesus i seal your heart from every leakage of the grace of god there will be no leakages in your life can you declare there will be no leakages in my life in the name of jesus there is no grace that is received that cannot be lost you can receive grace and lose it through leakages declare there will be no leakages from my past discouragement from my past failures maybe you are in a relationship and it did not end very well maybe you are in a partnership in business but it turned sour and you lost money tell god there will be no leakages in my heart in the mighty name of jesus ah seal my heart reka maganda the bible says above else guard your heart because in your heart reka baganda bashanda baganda reka baganda rima zayam reka baganda bashanda baganda reka baganda bashanda may god help you to guard your heart reka maganda bashanda baganda father everyone whose heart has been having leakages i pray for that heart to be healed in jesus name thank you lord thank you jesus i see we are set pastor mbogwa good um the bible says when we are partaking the lord's table we search our hearts so that when we judge ourselves we are not going to be judged by god if there is anything that can hinder you to partake of this lord's table repent of it i want to ask of you if you feel there is something some condemnation in your heart that can hinder you to partake of this table with a clean heart lies up on your feet i want to pray with you lies up on your feet lies up on your feet lies up on your feet even if you are not born again you are a backslider just lies up on your feet i'll pray with you unasikia kuna jambo linakuhukumu kuna jambo ambalo haliko sawa katika maisha yako simama tuko haraka najua wengine unangojea wengine wasimame lakini you know you are just rise up wherever you are rise up rise up the lord's table should not be taken for granted thank you wherever you are pray this prayer after me and say lord jesus i ask for your forgiveness thank you lord jesus somebody you are sitting down but there is a lot of bitterness in your heart you cannot be able to partake the lord's table with that bitterness just rise up and pray this prayer with me and release that bitterness whatever has caused you to become bitter just release that bitterness in the name of jesus sela baganda babosh reka baganda babosh pray this prayer after me and say lord jesus forgive me cleanse me with your blood 
take away condemnation from my heart and grant me your peace. I thank you for forgiving me. I thank you for saving me. Thank you for restoring me back to you. In Jesus' name. Amen. Father, I pray for those who are standing asking for forgiveness, asking for your mercy. I pray that you may accept their repentance and forgive them. And as they partake this table, Jesus, minister to them grace. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We, we are going to pray now. We are going to be served when we are sitting down. You are going to take the cup, then the blood. They are all sealed. Yeah, Nambua, there will be movement. So even if you are not partaking, as people circulate, because uh, due to COVID regulations uh, and protocols that we'd like to observe, kila mtu atajichukulia so mahali hakuna nafasi lazima uende uchukue uzunguke um, na ninaamini kwamba you get your package and then tunaonyeshwa a short video clip video tutakavyotumia hiyo package father i now bless the elements that we are going to use for this lord sebo i sanctify them by the blood and by the power of the holy spirit let them be your point of contact to release divine strength in our lives in jesus name we pray amen amen we can start uh, partaking i'll request the worship team just to come and worship with the one song and then we'll be able to we'll be ready i think we are going to take very few minutes because we have so many people who are helping us to serve The package is having the blade at the top, so don't wait for two packages. You are only receiving one. The one package is having the blade at the top. Maybe you can have that video clip shortly to remove any anxiety on how you are going to partake of the blade. That is how you are going to remove the seal. Look at that. Okay. Once you remove, you remove the top seal. That is a blood. Then after removing the second seal, then you can partake of the drink. Thank you. Welcome worship team. One song. Pele is a Katika, katika unyoke wangu mm. Unitulize moyo Na tuguma kosa Katika, 
Let's continue preparing our hearts. This is an action of faith. Just believe God as you partake this. You are going to partake of the grace of God to help you throughout the year 2022. We may not know exactly what is ahead of us this year. But God is able to give us the strength that we need to sail through the year 2022 victorious. Not just to finish the year, but finishing victorious. So I just want you to trust God to release the strength that you need to remain standing, to continue pressing on to your divine destiny. That God will give you the feet of a deer. You're going to soar with wings like an eagle. In the name of Jesus. Even as I speak, as I've been sharing this message, I know there are many who have been feeling that kind of weakness in their life. The word of God will not return to him void. It will accomplish that which he purposed. That staying power. Mahali umeondoka. Pakungojea. Pamaombi. Pakufunga. Paneno. Unadhoofishwa. Kazi ya roho ya mpinga kristo ni kudhoofisha watakatifu. That is one of the experiences many believers are going to experience in the end time. Wata experience kudhoofishwa. Unadhoofishwa mbaka unauliza. Sijawai kufanya dhambi miaka hii yote. Mbona imefika mahali na sikia kama naeza fanya dhambi. Ni kudhoofishwa. Roho ya mpinga kristo itadhoofisha wengi. Kata kudhoofishwa kata unashindwa bwana nashindwa kufunga nimefunga siku nyingi kata kudhoofishwa may god give you the staying power to continue waiting upon him there are so many people online watu wengi hata wale wako wengi hawako hapa wako kwa social media kwa youtube kwa facebook kwa tv 
pia wewe ulie pale nyumbani just set that atmosphere of reverence to God and allow God to take over even at the comfort of your house there is no distance when it comes to the ministration of the Holy Spirit he is omnipresent let him minister to you from wherever you are watching or reasoning from in Jesus name that you are going to receive divine sowing I know we are also coming to the climax of our prayer season this is the best way to climax our prayer season by asking God give us the strength that we need uh, in the mighty name of Jesus to be able to overcome every barrier every obstacle in the year 2022 I can see it's like we are almost settling down maybe one one chorus uh, let me by the lifting of your hand Kukuchini, have you gotten the the package if you don't have the package lift your hand he ground naona kama kuna mtu ambaye hajapata first gallery wale wajapata first gallery can see some movement uh, second gallery uko juu kuna mtu hajapata overflow inua mkono wako kama hujapata those who are serving will see your hand even if i cannot be able to see it from here overflow lift your hand if you have not gotten the package heaven's gate is there anyone who has not gotten the package just lift your hand those who are serving are going to see your hand Amen. Amen. We are almost there. One more stanza. Mwamba we ye imara kwa koni tajificha maji hayo nadamu yaliyo toka Unisa finata mi unifanya mshi mwamba mwamba we ye himara kwa koni tajisha maji hayo nadamu ya hiyo break the seal a little bit just to prepare i feel it's a bit tight uh, uh, at the beginning we can have the video clip to show us how to open up na uchunge usimwage unavunja hiyo seal ya juu amen i can see we are ready second gallery kuna mtu hana package inua mkono first gallery mko sawa Amen. Let's rise up on our feet. Overflow, I hope you are okay. Let's rise up on our feet. The creature inside there, I can see um, you have been taken care of. Let's rise up on our feet as we stand in the presence of God. Um, once we use the package, please, you are going to hold your package 
there will be disposable bins just right at the door utoke naye kwa mlango kuna mahali utawekewa but maybe the few who ambao pengine itabidi ukae hapa kwa muda we can also have a few baskets za kuchukua hapa nje thank you jesus the bible says in the book of matthew chapter 26 and verse 26 if we can be able to read together matthew 26 verse 26 while they were eating jesus took bread and gave thanks and broke it and gave it to his disciples saying take and eat this is my body father in jesus name i thank you for the revelation that we have received through the partaking of this table today thank you because your word always come to us to minister to us according to the needs of the hour father you have seen that the need of that, the hour is for us to be strengthened in our inner man so that we may be able to carry out our assignment our mandate and to continue pressing on and so i bless this cup i bless the blood that even have we to partake of these elements together with them that are at home and those who are watching and listening from different parts of the world i pray that there shall be a release a release of your divine strength into our lives there will be a shift from weakness to strength in the name of jesus kuna watu watapokea nguvu ambazo hawajawahi kuwa nazo katika jina la Yesu Kristo na watasikia kuendelea bila kuzimia watasikia kukutafuta watasikia kufanya mapenzi yako watasikia kuingia katika hati mazao kwa sababu kuna nguvu na kwa sababu those who eat at the altar they partake of the spirit of the grace of the anointing at the altar i declare the same in this altar today that everywhere people are obeying and partaking of this table they are partaking the grace uh, the anointing hey uh, shakabaganda that is flowing from this altar and so now lord in jesus name uh, i bless the blood and as we partake of it uh, we receive life everything that has dried uh, the dreams the vision the aspirations uh, i speak life uh, every dry bone uh, come back to life as we partake of this blood let's partake the blood together by faith now kila baganda babosh matthew 26 27 as we continue the bible says Then he took the cup gave thanks and offered it to them say drink from it all of you Let's continue this is my blood of the covenant which is poured out for the many for the forgiveness of sin Lord as we partake of this cup a representation of the blood that was shed at the cross of Calvary Lord we partake this cup by faith Oh God we know there is life in the blood and so we receive that life we receive the speakings of the blood we silence other contrary voices this blood speaketh better things we destroy other covenants over our lives those we know and those we don't know those which have been made on our behalf we declare they are broken and by the partaking of this cup now there will be healing there will be freedom there will be divine strength there are people who are going to rise to their destiny with a lot of ease uh, they are going people who are going to come out of backsliding and they are going to become stronger as we partake the cup now we partake of the grace of god uh, to make us strong uh, throughout the year 2022 in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit uh, let's partake of the cup
receive the life of God. I declare life. I declare life. Receive the Zoe, the God kind of life. Every spirit of death and sickness and discouragement and depression, every arrow of enemy, be removed. Receive the life of God. Receive the life of God. Receive the life of God. Receive inner strengthening. Inner strengthening. Inner strengthening. In the name of Jesus. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Shela Baganda. Rika Baganda Bashanda Baganda. Rika Baganda Bashanda Baganda. To make attack with the official Mwakahu. To make attack with the official Mwakahu. Hatuta the Ofika. Hatuta the Ofika. We are going to soar with wings. Tutapanda kwa wepesi. Tutapanda maharipetu palipo inuka. Tunumepokea nguvu. Tumepokea neema. Tumepokea ushindi juu ya kila hali ngumu. Tumepokea ushindi juu ya majaribu. Rika maganda. Tumepokea neema ya kuingia kwa hati mazetu. Mwaka huu tutasonga bere. Tutasonga bere. Tutasonga bere. Kuna watu udhaifu umeondoka. Kuna watu kila nguvu za udhaifu zimetoka ndani yako. Vile ulikuwa unajisikia ukiwa mnyonge. Ah, udhaifu umeondoka. 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 Isha kaba ganda baboria. Thank you Lord. Thank you Jesus. Wacha ni seme hivi kwa sababu ya watu wale wako online. Uh, tutamaliza ibada hii. Tutakuwa na ibada nyingine jioni saa tisa paka saa kumi na moja. Ibada ya jioni nitakuwa ninaongea juu ya how to receive from God. Watu wengi huwa wanaomba lakini hawajui mtu huwa anapokea namna gani. Nitafundisha vile huwa tunapokea baada ya kuomba how do we receive from God. Na kwa hivyo pia itakuwa ni wakati wa kupokea. Jioni ya leo itakuwa ni wakati wa kupokea katika jina la Yesu. Mungu awabariki sana all our online members Church Without Walls. I know we are supposed to switch the TV into other programs and uh, I pray that God will bless you. Maybe those who are on YouTube and maybe uh, Facebook uh, God also bless you. Let's prepare for the next service at 3 p.m. our final rally. Shalom. The Lord be with you. Kama umeokoka, tutumie message. Na kama uko na any feedback, I was supposed to give a feedback number in this message. Pastor Jenga niandikie hiyo namba. If you have any feedback, a prophetic word, any message, even feedback that concerns our services, any observation, please don't expect a reply, but expect that we are going to read uh, um, your messages and we'll be able to take the appropriate action in the name of Jesus. Um, na kwa hivyo, feedback ineza kuwa ene concern in the church. Leo niliingia pale kwa kreche, nikaona room ambayo haina stima na vitu kama hizo you can note something and you feel it can be attended to maybe uh, ni wale wanafanya kazi hapo hawajashughulika na i am in the saving mode si nimemwambia ukiona mtu anataka upige kelele mwambie niko kwa eh mwambie niko kwa saving mode praise the name of the living god so our feedback number for the services is 0722 58 A very good number 0722 Fifty 58 58 28 58 You can save it any time you can be able to use that number uh, if you feel uh, there is something we need to respond to or to take notice or you have a liberation Mungu amekuambia ni nani atakuwa president wa Kenya tuambie tu tuta confirm na wale wengine katika jina la Yesu Kristo jina la Bwana ipewe sifa na usitumie na mushene make sure hata ile kitu unatuma pale tunaweza kukupigia simu pia 
uh, usaidie polisi na uchunguzi polisi wa hapa kanisani yani sometimes we can call you back for more information so be open be genuine be sincere it's it's not gossip it's not malice it's something that you feel it will be of help to the church 0722 58 38 28 kama ameandika hiyo tumemaliza ibada yetu father i bless all our online members and i pray that you're going to be with us this evening and the service is going to be glorious in jesus name we pray amen 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 amen